welcome guys to another episode of Humanity. For those of you guys who are new to the video, you can find previous videos that explain how we got to this point on our YouTube channel. And for, the, for those of you guys who have been following our adventure, welcome back. Now that our character is well rested, we should be able to focus a little bit on our base building. To focus on our storage building capacity with the supplies that we have. So... Let's get into it. Let's see exactly how we what we can craft, and let's start organizing our base as best as we can. Obviously, I assume we're going to be needing the hammer for this, and quickly interacting with the build menu. It seems like we have a number of stuff that we can craft, from normal base building to defenses, barbed wires. This is actually really good. Storage containers, wood, scrap metal, nails. We do have. The nails for it, so that's a big plus. Scrap metal, so we can collect those by salvaging cars, and we can always make an axe for wood. And we can always make rain collectors, this is going to be good for our water supply. Simple trap, it's good, it's good to catch food as well. And farm plus, this is absolutely perfect. First, we need to start off by chopping out some trees. Obviously, we won't be able to make any of those without chopping down trees and for that we do need some sticks and stones let's go get those some fibers and some sticks now all we need is a little bit of stone wait wait a second is that another human but hello oh that, that he doesn't look he doesn't look friendly all right if you ask for it what was his deal he didn't even try to talk or anything he just sprinted like there's no tomorrow that's what he gets I guess too bad Okay, now that the stone has been found, we should be able to craft the improvised egg and chop down some trees. Get this base building starting. There we go, we have it in our inventory. Let's put the knife away since I don't think we'll be using it right now. Let's go chop down some trees. There we go, so we set Based on what we saw, in order to make the storage units, we are going to need seven woods and one scrap metal. Let's make the wood from the logs. Perfect. Okay, now all we're missing is scrap metal. We should be able to go and get some of that from where we left the hospital. Let's leave the supplies here. And 
do a quick run to get the scrap metal. Go, scrap metal acquired, and there's a good number of sheet metals. We should definitely come back for those as soon as we have the storage container built. There we go. Now we have all the resources in our inventory. Let's craft it inside of the base and place it inside the main area. There we go, all we're missing is a bit of wood. That shouldn't be an issue. There we go. Our first actual storage container. This is going to be for our supplies, basically like supplies. And then we can build another one where we can simply make it for all the medical resources that we have. So. Let's go chop down some trees and get to work. Perfect, that should be enough for now. Let's head back and start building those containers. Here we go, now let's make another medical supply cabinet and store it here. There we go, perfect. days since we sort of started the series. Three days, no deaths. Let's go. Now that we have the storages, let's go and get first of all the rest of the supplies we left behind. And then as soon as we come back we can organize everything. There we go, let's get as much supplies as possible. Head on back to the base. Now that we should be able to store all of them and store any other further supplies that we might possibly need. And I think that's our cue to get out of here. Our inventory is full either way. Let's head on back to the base, organize our supplies, and then come back here. There we go, home sweet home. Perfect, now let's start organizing. And let's give our character a chance to rest after such, such an adventure. There we go, now with the base fully set up, we can afford to head back to the city, get as much supplies as possible. In fact, since the 
area near the hospital is now almost clear and our truck is empty. Let's take it for a spin. Jesus, those are survivors. They're actually other survivors. Jesus, they're so aggressive. Let's get out of here. We cannot afford to fight those. They seem to be armored. It seems we may have took a small detour to get to the hospital, but what a detour it was. This is bad, this is really bad. We need to stop this car ASAP at the hospital. One small, one small wrong turn cost us so much. The vehicles are in a really bad condition now. We did manage to find some stuff though from abandoned vehicles along the way, but but still, we should find vehicle repair parts before proceeding. We are clear of zombies though. That's good. That's for sure. That's good news at least. There should be a vehicle repair kit in the gas station. Speaking of which, thank god. How lucky is this? Okay, let's depot the supplies that we have. Repair the engine. And play it safe from here on out. There we go. The engine is in a lot better condition, but it's still halfway there. One or maybe two of these repair kits should do the trick, but for now, we can only use the vehicle to head back to the base. This time, using the correct road. So many food and water, this is amazing. I think we can also afford to bring the truck to the station. That way we can have an even closer range, since the engine is halfway repaired. There goes nothing. So we don't attract too many of those zombies. Yeah. One zombie, that's not so bad. Well, make that two. Perfect, it's our character leveled up. Let's just get to safety. We can manage to get ourselves the juicy deep pockets upgrade. Let's have a look. There we go. This is so broken. That's exactly what we need. Tarp, let's go. This is what we wanted. This is what we came with. one of the reasons why we came before. And some matches. Perfect. That's not good. Oil. Oats. Alright. Here they come.
go. Let's go ahead and rid of them. Kitchen knife that could come in handy. Well, that will come in handy. Okay, that should be enough loot for now. We actually managed to fill our entire inventory and to fill the entire trunk of the truck. This is so good. Let's start heading back to the base and depot everything and figure out what our next plan is going to be. There we have it, another successful day done, another well written out objective accomplished. Now what we can do is let our character rest before heading back into the city, and before finding out exactly what to do with the survivors that we saw earlier, and to find out more and more about this whole zombie anomaly that's happening. The base itself is going to be built, it's going to be a fortress against those zombies, and most importantly, it's going to be a big community for other friendly survivors. Hopefully we'll be able to encounter them. Until next time guys, have a good one.